I don't think Russian women are going to be trading their lipstick for beetroot anytime soon. I think most of them look camera ready when they're at the gym. Um, so I can't see Au Naturel really taking off here. The, the, the trouble is, the... I know we can sort of look at a quote like that and, and smile, but, but it, it, underlying that, it, it just shows you because there are vast economics at play here, but bit by bit, how much of this is creeping in to the everyday lives of, of ordinary people there? No, people are very worried here. Um, Putin, in his press conference last week, said that uh, he expected the economy to rebound in two years. Of course, two years is a very long time in the life of, of a country. Um, and even though the ruble has stabilized to some extent this week, you get the sense that people feel like the worst is still ahead of them. Um, they are going to the stores, buying up electronics. Um, there are crowds in MVideo, the major electronics store, at one in the morning, and in Ikea, buying everything at the old price before um, inflation kicks in and prices start going up. There are uh, currency tourists coming from Finland and Belarus to take advantage of and, the... And we know that the ruble has almost gone through the floor, the value of it. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that you get paid in, in dollars. Does that mean that you are immune from this? So what about the people that you know who are paid in rubles? Yeah, I mean, actually, I told a friend who about my article about feeling a bit bad to be paid in dollars while um, people around me suffer because they're paid in rubles. And he works for a logistics and shipping company. He said, I'm paid in dollars, and it doesn't make me feel much better because if, as the ruble uh, falls, if the economy goes with it, um, I'm going to be out of a job just like someone with a ruble-denominated salary. Uh, uh, um, so...